Brothers and sisters, our collection this morning is for Redeemer University. Uh, and please prayerfully consider what giving God may be calling you to contribute. But also, please be in prayer for the university. Of course, like many colleges and universities and schools across uh, the country and the world, I'm sure uh, this has been in some ways a difficult uh, couple of years. Um, but also particularly for Redeemer, uh, their their president um, has had some significant health concerns. And so uh, we ask that you would pray for him. He is uh, having to step down because of those things. Uh, so pray for him and his family, uh, but also pray for the school as well. And consider uh, carefully, uh, again, what God may be calling you to give. Also, this morning, uh, we want to not only uh, pray for uh, our, our children and teachers and so on as they are looking at, at a few more weeks of online only education um, and looking at our whole uh, province uh, and uh, yeah, whatever God has in store for us there. Also, we want to take some time to pray for uh, Mary. Um, she is from our sister church in Brockville, and uh, you can find her full name in the bulletin because we want to maintain confidentiality. Uh, but Mary, uh, many of you know her. She is related to many of you, and uh, she is, her health is declining, um, and uh, she is being well cared for. She is in palliative care. She is able to be uh, with family. She's not in the hospital right now. Uh, so she's able to see uh, a lot of family and that is great. Uh, but please be in prayer, not only for Mary, but also all of the, um, all of the, all of her relatives and friends, uh, both in our church, Athens CRC, and in the broader community. Also, uh, we want to take this time um, as well to recognize that um, the 215 bodies that were found uh, at that residential school in Kamloops, um, the Bible teaches us very clear, clearly, that there is absolutely individual responsibility for our actions. I am responsible for what I do. But the Bible also teaches us very clearly that we are also responsible for what I do. We are responsible for the sins of our parents and our grandparents and so on. This is a hard thing for us to recognize, especially when we live in such an individualistic society. But in some way, you and I are responsible for those deaths. And for only God knows how many other deaths have occurred through the residential school system. We are responsible not only because our, we are Canadian. We are responsible not only because we are uh, largely descended from European colonizers who came to this land. We are responsible not only because we sadly largely turned a blind eye to residential schools and the 60s scoop and so many other things. We are responsible because we are also Christ followers. And, and many of the things that were perpetrated against First Nations people were done by people supposedly in Jesus' name. And we gotta, we've got to own that. And so we need to stand with our uh, First Nations brothers and sisters and grieve and acknowledge 
and, and try to seek a way forward. So we'll take some time to pray for that as well. Let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we do thank you so very much again for bringing us together, albeit online. Lord, we pray that you will guide us through the rest of this service, that you will open up our hearts and minds as we look at the scriptures that you have for us for the message. We thank you so much for the scriptures that you have already given us. Scriptures to encourage us and scriptures to chastise us and scriptures to assure us. Lord, may we be strengthened and encouraged to move forward in the week to come in your name, unashamed of the gospel and bold in its proclamation as we humbly serve. Father, as we think about our First Nations brothers and sisters, as we grieve the reality of those children, that we know of, God, please, Please, through your Holy Spirit, open up all our hearts and minds so that we may take proper responsibility for what we have done or not done, for what our parents have done or not done, for what Christ followers have done or not done, for what Canadians have done or not done. And Lord, help us. Help us to humbly listen. Help us to repent. And help us to come alongside our First Nations brothers and sisters to take action. We know that we can never restore those children to their families. We can never restore the many others who are lost and gone. Help us, O oh God, in some way. To reconcile. Forgive us for our sin. Father, on a different note, we pray that you will be with our congregation, with all of, our, uh, all of the folk in our congregation. Lord, may we not only know and learn how to live out your gospel more and more each day, but may we also do all of the things that we do each and every day to your glory. Oh God, I am so thankful. We are so thankful for your provision and for your blessing. We are thankful for this land, which no one really which really belongs ultimately to you, oh God. Help us, O oh God, to use it wisely and lovingly and in service to others. O oh God, thank you for the rain that you provided for crops and gardens and grass and flowers to grow. Lord, thank you so much for the sun and for the heat and for the beauty of your world. Father, we thank you also for the children, for the teachers, 
Lord, please be with them in, in this province, especially as, as they are not going back to in-person school until hopefully next year. Please help and strengthen our teachers and our students. Father, we pray as well that you will be with Mary and her family and her friends and her loved ones, both here in Athens and in the surrounding area and in Brockville and, and everywhere else, oh God. We are so grateful that she has known and loved you for so long. Please keep her comfortable, O oh God. Thank you for the nurses and doctors and other healthcare professionals who are helping her. And Lord, thank you so much that she is able to be uh, with family. Please comfort them especially. And God, please be with Redeemer University. Receive these, our tithes and offerings. May they be a pleasing aroma to you, and may they go to the spread of your gospel in this world. Would you bless the president of Redeemer, Lord, in his health struggles, and would you please guide the school as they navigate the waters of COVID along with so many other schools too. Lord, we thank you so much for the tremendous additions they're able to build on campus this year. We pray that you will bless those and fill them with students. And Lord, as we come to your scriptures in the message, we ask that you would open our hearts and minds that we would hear what you would have us hear. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.